All right, so on today's show, we are interviewing my next door neighbor, like right next door. So here we go, we're gonna go knock on the door to my neighbor. We live in this beautiful mid-century modern neighborhood. The community is super cool. Like this is my next door neighbor, the next door neighbor on the other side are awesome. These guys over here are awesome. The people that live behind us are awesome. It's pretty much like living on the set of Leave It to Beaver. So here I go walking next door to go knock on the door of my neighbors to shoot their house and see what they've done with the place. Well, hello, neighbor. How are you? I brought you guys a microphone. I love it. So you guys have to share amongst yourselves. I'm not sharing. Just, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. You're looking cute. I love the shirt. Thank you. Thank you. A little, a little, a little Balenciesi here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so I was just telling the audience that this is like the Leave It to Beaver neighborhood. And it's so awesome because it's like, where else can you live where you're like, can talk to the people over your fence? Hey neighbor, how's it going? Which we do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's incredible. I love this neighborhood. How long have you guys lived here? We've been here two years. Sounds right, two years? Two years in January. Okay, and where'd you guys move from? Well, technically Los Angeles, we had a nice six months. Excuse me. We had a we had a nice six months in Wyoming before we moved over here. Oh. Yeah. Are you guys from that region? I grew up in Wyoming. Okay. I lived there until I was in my mid-teens. And I only say that because I'm from that region. Yeah. I'm from Utah. I love it. Zach is from Idaho. So it's like, let's okay. bring on Wasatch Friends. Let's exactly. Is that, exactly. Is that what it's called? Well, I, I know it is in, in Utah. I don't know about it. It's not. Because I would I'm, yeah, <laughs> let, let's just pretend that it's yeah. all the Wasatch. The Wasatch. I love it. Very yeah. Cool. Okay, so you guys have lived here for two years. How do you like it? I mean, I lived here for less than a month, yeah. and I am in love with it. I'm, I'm in love with it. I love Vegas as a whole, but I think having this piece of paradise has opened up a whole different world of possibilities for us. The kind of people that move here are quirky, they're seeking that mid-mod vibe, and yeah, there's just really interesting people here. It's really, it's the best community in every community sense that we've ever lived in. Um, just the fact that they have monthly socials, which I'm so excited for you to come to, that is a big, that is a big plus for us. I'm a social person, he kind of is, but yeah, it's the community. Yeah, I, I mean, it is sort of, it's definitely the community, because I'd say, um, we were Los Angeles apartment dwellers for most of our lives, and it's always just like come and go. You don't know your neighbors. Everyone's yeah. super busy, but the idea that I can literally be at like the Facebook group or whatever, it's I can like go and knock on a door, and like I've done it. I borrowed a ladder from people before. It's just the people's doors are like wide open to everyone else, and everyone's just kind of like looking out for each other. Yeah. I've never had that before in my yeah. anywhere that I've ever lived. And you can pop over the fence and say hi to all the neighbors. Or, like I did the other day, I could jump over the fence to you. <laughs> yeah. Jump over the fence too. yeah, you literally jumped over the fence. Of course, you, you asked very nice. Permission. And I'm like, yeah, of yeah. course. Come on over. I Why did not? Consent. Only jump over fences with permission. I can totally relate to your apartment dweller thing because I am also from LA. I lived in LA for almost 20 years. Yeah. And I've moved in LA probably 30 times. And that doesn't seem out of this world. It seems out of this world for anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But LA, it's like, yeah, you move in with your friend, you move in with this friend, then you get your own place, then you sublet. Or it's like, yeah. it's just, things can happen. Every and it lease does. ending is like, a new opportunity to go and like right. live somewhere else. Or get closer to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get closer to the beach. <laughs> and that's what's great about Paradise Palm because you're so close to the strip. You're so close to downtown. You're right in the heart of everything, the arts district. And just this whole vibe of this whole community, just looking over your shoulder and seeing your cool mural that you have there, Josh, <laughs> it's like, this is what it's all about. I mean, people just don't go and just say, oh, I want a 60 plus year old house. 
there's there's things that go wrong with these houses but they're so rad you're like all right let's do it because you're not gonna find this style of house anywhere else no. it's like the the charm the heart like it's irreplaceable exactly just, you just can't yeah you just can't find it and as far as you saying, like those goals like i don't know this this feels like my eventual goal of like winding up here from all those other spots i bounced around in you know you get also with apartments like it's not yours you're not able to paint mural well i guess you could but you got to repaint it but <laughs> you yeah. can't just like go nuts on the place and this has been sort of uh I don't want to say like our canvas, but yeah, your sacred ground. Zach yeah. and I call our plus our place For sacred sure. ground. Yeah, just look at your yard. I know even over my shoulder. I mean, you've got this cool little vignette. Of course, the Winnebago. No airstream. 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 Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're putting in a fire pit. We've got the garden going. Well, why don't you show us around a little bit? Sure. I mean, I've yeah. seen. It, the place, but let's go deep. All right, let's go. We'll show you our closets. Oh and yeah, <laughs> and the um, the attic. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I love the hammered glass. We have hammered glass in our place. Let's well, talk about this beam though god that is incredible yeah. and That's stuff like this you just can't find in your regular las vegas cookie cutter house you're just not going no. to find it it's yeah. the it's the clear story it's the angled roofs it's all the light that comes in here that's the one thing about las vegas i get it it's hot out there it's the desert there's just yeah. light blasting in and heat from every direction I, we don't care we sweat in here <laughs> i would say we sweat here the nice. ac's working strong but like we're all about just like light, high ceilings, all these like, yeah. just feels open and good. So Josh, show us some of your, your murals inside the house. We'll take you down to the, what we call the dopium den. Oh, um, dopium, <laughs> yes. technically a four bedroom, but it was converted from a, um, what are the cars? Carport to a bedroom. Open garage. And it's more of just the chill space. It's the one place that we can come down and watch the TV and keep all the plants because there's not much more room up in the living room for plants. Yeah, I love how you can see the ground from this angle right here. It just gives it that, and it is cool. It's a like cooler sunny. room. Yeah, it's like grounding feeling. Yeah. I noticed that yesterday at the pool, just even being by the water just gives you that sense of just grounding with that the, the weight of the water and just like, okay, we're good. We're good yeah, here. It's like an like instant meditation. Remember this. this is that half bath that nobody uses because we have three other full bathrooms. So we made it a little bit intrusive with that plant in there and put something funky up top. My funky camera work here. <laughs> Well, I love what you've done with the place. Isn't that what they say? I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Julian on the spot. We have Josh and Bex, my next door neighbors. Thank you guys so much for showing us your house. Thank you. Hey, neighbor, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, that was <laughs> awesome.